Welcome back to Reality Remake. Today I've got 11 essential tips and tricks for you to help you survive the deadly jungles of Green Hell VR. Let's not waste any time and get right into it with tip number one. Danger comes in many forms in the jungle, and some of those are actually pretty easy to see coming if you pay attention. Spiders and scorpions are actually pretty loud and can be heard clacking as they creep towards you along the jungle floor. Listen closely so that you can smash them before they get close enough to hurt you. The same goes for snakes. Hearing their rattling from far away gives you the chance to easily spear them or shoot them with an arrow rather than suffer their venomous bite. The same goes for the animals that should be afraid of you. A tapir or armadillo makes a distinct noise when running away, and listening closely while hunting for meat can give away where they are and let you know in which direction to chase them in. Beware though, not as many threats are as loud as you'd think they would be. In Green Hell VR, you can stuff yourself as much as you like and never vomit. But what you stuff yourself with is more important than how much you stuff yourself with. Keep an eye on your macro elements and what foods you need to keep those bars full. Varying your sources of nutrition is vital to survival in this virtual reality jungle. As a rule of thumb, carbohydrates, the yellow bar, are easy to fill with fruits such as bananas and various mushrooms and other vegetables that you can forage around the Amazon. Fats, the green bar, can be found in the meats of certain animals like the tapir, and mostly in nuts and seeds that you can find on the floor. Protein, the red bar, can be found only in meats, preferably cooked or dried to avoid sickness and insanity. All sorts of little parasites are going to try and find their way into your body in the jungle, and who can blame them? Clearly you're very tasty. So it's a good idea to make a habit out of checking for them and chucking them off of you as quickly as possible, especially after taking a dunk in some water. Leeches will attach themselves to you pretty consistently. Injuries and some other status effects, like parasites, will show themselves on your arms as lesions or cuts. Now even worse things can burrow themselves into your arms, especially if you sleep directly on the ground, and we'll cover that in a minute. Knowing which plants will make you vomit up all of your macro elements is an important trick to have up your sleeve. An even better trick is knowing which plants will cure certain status effects, such as stomach parasites from drinking unclean water. Unfortunately, the only way to know which plants do what for sure is to eat them. Now this will sometimes have bad consequences. Fortunately, our next tip will mitigate those consequences. Keeping an herb or two that will cure status effects can keep a single snake bite or a vomiting spell from eating a poisonous fruit from ending in a game over in Green Hell Quest Edition. Tobacco leaves, which are bright pink, cure venomous bites and stings. Vomiting can be cured, but by plants that are a little harder to find. The most common one are water lilies, which can be found on lily pads sitting on top of water, as well as ficus leaves. Make sure to eat them quickly before you vomit out all of your macronutrients and have to eat a massive meal to get back to full health. Now, none of these plants will actually go bad over time, so keeping a couple of each in your pack in case things don't go as planned is a pretty good idea. Stomach parasites can also be cured by eating certain mushrooms, but those will go bad over time, so you can't just hang on to them indefinitely. Still, if you need to drink unclean water, it can help to find a few of the blue mushrooms, indigo blue leptonia, or little brown bowl-looking mushrooms called copahongo, first. Both of these will naturally kill the parasites in your stomach and keep those parasites from consuming more of your macronutrients over time. Oh, and the same also goes for bandages. They don't go bad, so keeping a few spare can definitely help you recover from a puma mauling. Oh, that's just what I needed. Now, canned food is a rarity in the middle of the jungle, and so are protein and candy bars. Anything modern, really, even the simplest machete or axe, is a real luxury in this virtual rainforest. So, as in any survival game, it's a good idea to keep some spare food and supplies in your pack. Since they never spoil, you can keep them for when bad luck or poor decision-making has left you hungry and desperate. 
It's also important to note here that keeping your food from perishing for longer can help you spend less time hunting for more meat to sustain yourself. While meat has a meter which lasts for about a day before it spoils when raw, cooking it resets that meter. Even better, when you get a drying rack, you can keep meat from spoiling for almost a week by drying it. Oh, coconuts are generally just so great, and you should utilize them whenever possible. First of all, they're an easy source of clean water. Just bash a green coconut a few times and have a drink. After drinking out of one, cutting it in half reveals the coconut flesh, which is an easy source of fats, and fats can be kind of hard to find sometimes. Even after you've drunk and eaten the coconut, it's still useful. The two shells of the coconut can be used in water collectors or just left on the ground open side up. When it rains, the rainwater will collect in the shell and that rainwater doesn't contain parasites so it's safe to drink. Water without parasites is actually pretty precious in green LVR, just as coconuts are. Did I also mention that coconuts don't spoil over time? They're basically the canned food of nature. Sleeping on the floor of a jungle is as inadvisable in green hell VR as it is in real life. Laying directly on the floor of the rainforest for hours is not good for your health and can lead to all sorts of parasites infecting your body. Also, a bed makes for much better rest, and the less time you spend sleeping, the more time you can get busy surviving. While a bed of leaves is good, a log or bamboo bed is even better. Green Hell VR, as an unforgiving game, comes with the same tip that all unforgiving games come with. Save early and save often. You don't want to lose an hour of exploration when a caiman slinks out of the water and bites you in half before you even realize it's happening. It's better to only lose 10 minutes or so when the unexpected happens. At a minimum, saving every time you sleep for the night or eat enough to replenish your nutrients is a pretty good rule of thumb. It's hard not to have sympathy for the character that we all embody in Green LVR. As immersive as the game is, at the end of the day, we are comfortably flailing our arms in our air-conditioned living room, and they are in a hot rainforest fighting for survival. That's not an easy situation to be in, and it's gotta be tough on the mind. For that reason, taking care of your character's sanity is vital. Lose enough sanity and your character's grip on reality will start to slip. He will hear things, making it harder for you to hunt or listen to threats, as in tip one. Lose enough sanity and make-believe phantoms will attack you as well and they can actually hurt you. Keep your character sane by feeding them good food and not subjecting them to too much hardship. Try not to feed them foods they don't like, like raw snake meat. <laughs> Sometimes the jungle of Green Hell VR can become too familiar, and suddenly you start to feel safe. You sprint around like you own the place, barely cognizant of the five snakes and three spiders that you just passed right by, secure in your mastery of the game, and then BAM! Jaguar eats you out of nowhere. Ugh! That is why you always need to have a weapon at the ready, and be prepared to use it at the drop of a hat. Deadly animals with a taste for human explorer are littered around the jungle. This is a survival game after all, and so Green Hell VR will easily punish you for not taking it seriously enough. Spears are great weapons with a long reach. They can keep a jaguar or other big cat far away from you while you poke it to death. A bow and arrow can work even better against certain opponents, like the caiman. One arrow to the head, and all of a sudden you're safe again. For really close encounters, a bone knife is also a good, quick stabbing weapon, though a tool like an axe or machete can also do some damage. Be careful though, even with a weapon, there are greater threats than mere animals in the Amazon. Thanks for watching another Reality Remake video. For more about VR and VR gaming, feel free to give us a like or a subscribe. We got new videos coming out all the time and articles on our website at realityremake.com. Good hunting out there, good surviving, good luck out there in the rainforest.